you've been nominated for a community choice award um, in the best tool for the enterprise and it's not due to any one person but it's really due to this sense of community i'm hoping that you'll check open and ms out and if you like it you'll come out and vote for us on the community choice awards i'd really appreciate it i'm sure the team would as well and by the way i'm not wearing any pants My main talent is being able to surround myself with people who actually know what they're doing. My name is Bill Ayers. My name is Tara Spalock. My name is Matt Brzezowski. Hey, you want to add Strum? Hello. Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Alejandro Galue. My name is Jeff Galbach. I'm DJ Greger. Hello, my name is Mike Hewitt. Hello, my name is uh, David Eustace. My name is Ben Reed. Ciao a tutti, il mio nome è Antonio Russo. And those people founded uh, what we call the Order of the Green Polo. They're the people who really make the project work. OpenMS was started in 1999. I got involved in, with OpenMS back in 2001. We managed to get uh, OpenMS 1.0 out in early 2002. And at that time, Oculan got new investors, and new investors really weren't keen on this open source thing. Um, but I saw the potential. A week later, I found myself as the uh, maintainer of the OpenNMS project. Uh, that part was easy, explaining to my wife that I was starting my own business and that I was going to be selling free software. That was a little harder. My job within OpenNMS is I love deploying it. I love teaching people about it. I do the packaging. I also write This Week in OpenNMS, which is a weekly newsletter that goes out to our discussion list. I've actually been involved with OpenNMS longer than anyone who's still working with the project. Um, I was employee number five at a company called PlatformWorks. Uh, this was the uh, original company that prototyped uh, OpenNMS. I was introduced to OpenNMS about seven years ago, and a few months later, it became our standard network management tool. I've been working with OpenNMS since spring of 2004 when two crazy guys said, hey, why don't you quit your job and spend all your time coding for OpenNMS? I joined the OpenNMS community around 2005, 2006. I was looking for a new tool, and I found OpenNMS, downloaded it, and started playing with it. I'm involved with OpenNMS in 2004. The company is a reliable solution to monitor more than 2,500 sites providing internet access all over Europe. And these 2,500 sites feature more than 80,000 devices. I began to use OpenNMS in 2006, and I became an OGP member in DevJam 2007, where I met the amazing team that created and support this great tool. I uh, became involved with OpenNMS in the year 2001. I was looking for a network management solution for the company I worked for. I've been involved with the OpenNMS project since 2004, and unlike most of my OpenNMS fellows, I was drug kicking and screaming. I did. I have been involved in, uh, since uh, 2001. There were lots of products available as open source software but most of them did just one thing, which is not bad. It's just not what I needed. Now, unlike Nagios and some other tools, we started out on day one wanting to manage tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, to unlimited numbers of devices. And that's where the enterprise grade portion comes in. Uh, OpenNMS is designed from day one to manage all of these devices. We took the combined might of all of these network management professionals and gave them a tool um, that they could mold to fit their needs, then hey, we might have something. And so we started building OpenNMS. OpenView's Network Manager, BMC Patrol, MicroMuse Net, Netcool, cool, those kind of things. While these were decent tools and really enabled you to, um, to, to get a, start to get a handle on managing your uh, network, um, they were expensive. And if you wanted to do something they weren't built to do, it was very, very difficult. To me, network management is one of the hardest problem domains for software since everyone does network management differently. It's very scalable, flexible, not so hard to configure and maintain. 
relatively easy to modify and add custom code for additional features, well designed, supported by a great team of people, and of course it is a 100% open source solution that can beat any commercial solutions around. I immediately saw the promise of OpenMS as an actual, very highly scalable, really truly enterprise grade solution for integrated fault and performance management. I like figuring out how to do something, I like the challenge of figuring out the first time, and then I don't want to do it again. OpenMS gives me a good platform for my networks and systems to figure out the hard problems once, automate them, and then not have to come back and do them again. The best part was, is, you know, we have auto discovery and we can find all the services that we needed to find and we were able to find all the network interfaces we had. So then once that was done, we were able to look at any data for any port that we had on the network, which was a big, huge win for us. But the other thing is high availability and reliability. I've been running the same instance of OpenNMS um, since 2001. And that's, that's a huge thing to say, is that how many, how many applications can say that I've run continuously and really with minimal downtime. Uh, most of the downtime is actually been when I've been upgrading. So it scales very good. It is built for the enterprise. What I like about OpenNMS is it's flexible enough to fit into the spaces people need it to and powerful enough to handle very large networks. People that were experts in the network management field said, what would I want in a network management platform? The easy things are easy. OpenNMS will go out and discover your network for you and tell you about all the common services that it's already pre-configured for and find routers and do data collection. But if you need to do something wacky, OpenNMS can usually do it. It was written for network management folks by network management folks. I think the thing that's really great about OpenNMS is the community of contributors and maintainers. They're really the ones that, that make this thing great. Uh, there's this myth going around that if you just put open source on a project or a product name, that thousands of people will give up nights and weekends to come and actually work on your uh, project for free. So that usually doesn't happen. I think the coolest thing I've done with OpenMS is to get more people involved. I love to see people getting better at coding and getting more involved with the community. Since people are feel free to use the software in any way they want, they also feel free to share their ideas and their know-how about how to do network management. I have to say what really ties OpenNMS together is the community, the people around it, and behind it. Well, I'm an active member of OpenMS community and it's amazing. I think it's the best of OpenNMS is the community. As well, I have also to say that there is a good technology. And so. OpenNMS gives me a great community of fun, clueful people to work with. People that can help me out, people that I can help out. We have a great group of members on the OGP, as well as an extended community on the mailing lists, the wiki, and even those that go and submit bugs. If you download OpenMS today, you benefit actually from the development work which was put into the project by dozens of people, dozens of companies, and featuring very, very specific needs which you might never find in any other project. We soon began making minor uh, additions and adding new features to OpenNMS that met our specific needs. We then were able to contribute our modifications back to the project and they became part of future releases. I was uh, having some problems with some traps I was receiving from one of our networking vendors where the networking vendor was not providing the uh, proper format, not RFC compliant. I quickly uh, downloaded the source code and looked at it myself and I said, gee, this is a pretty quick and easy fix. I was able to take on the problem myself and fix the problem myself without having to wait a long time for the vendor to fix it. Open source gives me the, the ability to fix something at my current site and make it work, but if I'm not dealing with free software, I might not be able to take those changes and those enhancements, return them to, to the community, or take them on the, to the next site. Oh, and by the way, I'm not wearing any pants. Oh wait, I'm not wearing any pants. And by the way, I'm not using any pants. I'm not wearing any pants. Does it work? Because I'm not wearing any pants. And by the way, I'm not wearing any pants. I'm wearing no pants. I want you to know, I'm not wearing any pants.